Hey guys, I got a knife review for you today. This is the Smith & Wesson Cutting Horse, or at least one of them. This one's called the CH0025, CH0025. It's a folder, pretty standard folder, import folder that uh, you can buy this knife at like Walmart or uh, I've seen this at O'Reilly's Auto Parts stores. Um, it's a cheap knife. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's you can get this knife for around 15 bucks, and that's maybe on the higher end. Who knows? Online, I've seen this kind of knife go for as little as five bucks in an auction. You know, you can get these knives really cheap. Now, just because you can get them cheap doesn't mean it's a bad knife. Obviously, it has its drawbacks here and there that come with pricing. One thing is a blade. We'll get into that in a minute. I wanted to do a review on this knife because it's a surprisingly good knife, especially for EDC. If you're going to have an EDC blade, you really need something that well, you're not going to be afraid to use because you are going to use it, you're going to carry it all the time, and it's got to be comfortable and it's got to be practical. At least that's what I look for in an EDC knife. And this just, I mean, this is a home run for me. Uh, first of all, the price. Let me talk about how I got this knife. Um, I didn't buy this knife. <laughs> Uh, a lot of you are like, well, you know, how would you know if it's cheap or not? Well, okay, I got this in a trade. Um, and it was pretty much brand new when I got it. It was in really great shape when I got it. Um, I don't remember what it was that I traded it for, but I remember that the guy was like, hey, look, man, uh, you know, would you would you want to maybe trade or partial trade this knife or whatever it was? I can't remember anyway. Um, and I saw it, and I really loved it right from the get-go. He pulled it out, you know. And it was a good-looking little tactical. I said, oh, it's cool, whatever. Pulled it out, and wham, it had that cool Tonto blade. you got to love that blade. And, yeah, it's got partial serrations. Kind of unusual for a Tonto, for me anyway. Um, and a lot of people don't like that. I do. I love the serrations. And let me tell you why. When, um, when you have a knife like this, sometimes you get too lazy to sharpen it. <laughs> and you really need it. I mean, really need it to cut something. I mean... If you're stuck somewhere and you really need just to cut something really badly, this sometimes isn't going to cut it, no pun intended. A uh, straight edge really has to be sharp, you know. Um, of course, this little sub point makes it easier. But having serrations means that you can cut whatever you need to cut instantly. If you need to get free or free something, this is you need serrations. Serrations are great for that. Cutting ropes, cutting straps... Uh, I do a lot of cutting straps and cutting ropes. It's great for that. Um, good blade. The blade is 440. Now, a lot of people, well, at least I assume it is. Don't quote me. But um, it's because it's kind of nation on these things. But it's a good it's a good blade steel. I've sharpened it, and it holds a pretty good, pretty good edge. Holds pretty sharp. Those serrations, I mean, I... I've used them all to hell, and I think I've maybe damaged one serration. And that's pretty good. A lot of people will tell you that, that you know, if it's not a good blade steel, um, you'll get a lot of damage on the serrations fairly quickly. Not in this case. like it. Works good. Um, Smith & Wesson, of course, is made by Taylor. Good knife maker, I think. They make a lot of other great knives. And if you go to their website, you, you see just <laughs> how many brands. They make quite a few knife brands. And that's because they have a good standard. I think they do anyway. Now, uh, some of the pros and cons for me personally. This this thing is pretty slim. So to me, one of the, the pros, I love a slim handle. Because it means that it fits in your hand just a certain way. That makes it easy to carry. Fits in your pocket a certain way. You hardly know it's there. Um, and that's that's a pro for me. I really like the idea that I can carry this knife and forget I'm carrying it until the moment I need it and it's right there. Um, that's a pro. A con for me would be like, you see this this thumb stud? It's really poor placement. I mean if it was a little higher it would be great. If it was like right in the middle of where that groove cutout is for your thumb, it'd be great. But because it's right there up against the plastic scale, by the way they are plastic, it's it's pretty hard to open. You can't push it with your thumb. Oh, well, there I did. Of course, now now that I say it's hard to open, <laughs> I can open it. But most of the time, I have to slip my thumb nail and my thumb in between the plastic scale and the 
the blade um, to just to open it, just to flick it. Um, other than that, it's a good blade. I'm probably going to give it to my dad, actually, because uh, I've had it replaced. Um, it's been replaced with, uh, of course, the Buck 750 Red Point. Love that knife. Anyway, this is a good knife. For 10 15 bucks. I mean, shit, it's a great knife. It really is. Cool pocket cliff. Easy flicker. And hey, the great thing about it being 10 15 bucks, if you use the hell out of it, and I mean really use it the way, you know, I use things, <laughs> then um, you won't be too bummed out when it breaks on you, or if it were to break, I doubt it, but if, if something were to go wrong with this knife, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Partially because I got it in a trade, but partially because I think it'd be pretty easy to replace. They make a whole lot of other uh, models of cutting horse. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, I should talk about that. Cutting horse is really much more of a, a line that they have, and it's 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 a stretch even then because as far as a line goes, at least in the line of knives, you have a lot of similar knives. I've seen a lot of cutting horses that are completely different from this completely different like copies of other uh, knives higher end knives and they're just nothing like this I mean you have uh, I think there's even some assisted that are cutting horses which is ridiculous I mean it's almost like it's a whole nother brand unto itself there's just so many different cutting horses that there is out there in fact if you go on YouTube look for another demo of this knife there is only one other demo why because if you search cutting horse you pull up about a hundred different demos of different knives and this certainly isn't the most common love that Tonto though aggressive American Tonto and uh, it's strong it's a strong design for a blade so yeah I just wanted to go over this knife a little bit with you because uh, if you do come across this knife I'd get it because it's a great knife it'll last you and even if it doesn't hell the price you're gonna get it for <laughs> I mean it's pretty good like I said, probably going to give it to my dad because I got the buck now. But uh, I could see carrying this knife another couple of years just because it's a great knife. Never let me down. Good quality. And that's about it. Thanks a lot.